What's going on everybody, it's Joel here and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the most popular barbells that Rogue Fitness sells, their 28.5 millimeter range. One of the most frequently asked questions that I've been getting throughout all of lockdown is, hey I'm starting a home gym, what's a good all around barbell that's going to last? And my answer is usually the Rogue Fitness Ohio Bar. It's something that pretty much everybody can get behind. It's good for powerlifting, it's good for weightlifting, uh, it's got Rogue's incredible build quality and customer service backing it, plus there's a lifetime warranty behind it. There's really nothing that is bad about the Ohio Bar, but at the same time, there's nothing that it kind of like specializes in. So if you're an only lifter, I'd say it's probably not gonna be the barbell for you. It worked for you, it's probably not the best barbell for you. If you're a powerlifter, it probably worked for you, but once again, I'd probably recommend like an Ohio Power Bar if powerlifting's all you're doing. But if you're looking for something general use, something to powerlift, to only lift, do CrossFit with, with, and even come out of lockdown with some incredible resale value, there's probably nothing better than the Ohio Bar. So with the Ohio Bar, there are a few different options as far as coding goes. You can get a Cerakote Bar, you can get a black zinc bar, you can get a black oxide bar, there's Rogue's new e coat you can get a custom bar, you can get the freedom bar, there's a lot of different options. And you can get the operator bar, which is basically an Ohio bar with military inspired coatings. Uh, but like I said, there's, there's a lot of different things and it can get a little confusing when picking an Ohio bar. So I hope by the end of this video, you'll have a little bit more clarity in which barbell you should go for. So, starting this video off uh, is the Cerakote Ohio Bar. So, this is the black Cerakote option. It does have a gray Rogue logo in the middle of it. It does have dual IPF and IWF markings. It has chrome sleeves on this particular bar. It does come with Cerakote sleeves if you wanted them, um, but I actually would recommend the chrome just because they don't scratch up as much as Cerakote does. If you buy a just normal Cerakote Ohio bar, it will come with composite bushings. If you buy a custom bar, you can have the option for a brass bushing or a composite bushing in black or red. Just kind of depends on what you want and what color your barbell is. So the Cerakote does take away a little bit from Rogue's knurling, but I still feel like this knurl is one of my favorites from Rogue. It's a little bit more subdued than their e-coat and black zinc and I personally like that about it because I like a lighter cut. I don't really like aggressive knurling. Not that any of these bars in front of me have anything remotely close to a, an aggressive cut. I just personally like a lighter cut of knurling. So if you like a bar to be softer on your hands then I would definitely recommend you go with the Cerakote option. Another great thing about the Cerakote option is that it has a matte chalky like finish. So it's a little bit easier to keep in your front rack. It doesn't go sliding around like some of the shinier options like black zinc or black oxide do. But also keep in mind that Cerakote does chip away and it can wear down and if you're planning on racking your bar, it's gonna get chipped away pretty quickly in at least the snatch grip area. Which is the exact reason why I do recommend getting the chrome sleeves over the Cerakote sleeves because the moment that you slide a plate on, especially if you're using like steel or iron plates, it's going to scratch the crap out of your sleeves. So do recommend the chrome option. I don't recommend racking your Cerakote bars, but if you're going to do it, just make sure that you're good about skipping over the front of the J-hook uh, because that will scratch away at the coating of your barbell. One of the benefits of having Cerakote is that it is probably the best coating that Rogue has for protecting your bar against oxidation. So no matter what coating you get, your bar will develop surface rust if you do not take care of it. Make sure you are wiping down your barbell as you're cleaning out the knurling because even though this is probably the best about protecting your bar against any kind of permanent damage from rust, it can still rust and it will still rust. If you're in one of those southern states or if you're in a state that has uh, humidity issues, your bar will rust no matter what. 
I mean, I'm in California, the, and Cerakote will rust. So it doesn't really matter where you go. So you can't just set it and forget it. You will have to maintain your barbell. But otherwise, I think if you're looking for an Ohio bar, the Cerakote option is the best one out there. It's a little bit more than the other ones. It's $335. It does rate on the Rogue uh, work hardening scale at an F8R, which is really high up there. So it's pretty much indestructible. I've never had any issues as far as build quality goes or bending with Rogue bars. So I really wouldn't worry about it. The next best option there would be the stainless steel bar, which I don't have with me, but I have done a review on in the past. It's about two years old. And a lot of the opinions that I had on that bar are still true today. I still actually prefer the stainless steel bar, even though it is technically weaker on Rogue's F scale. I wouldn't worry about it. If it's something that you're using in your garage gym, it's probably not going to bend or break or do anything like that. I personally like the stainless steel bar, but I do think either way you go, they're both good. The Cerakote one does have colors, so that might be a better option if you wanted something a little bit more personalized. The next bar up is the Rogue Bar 2.0. So this bar is probably my least recommended 28.5 millimeter bar from Rogue. And the reason for that is because it retails for $265. It's not that much cheaper than an Ohio bar. And I don't really care too much for the composite bushings. The reason for that is because no matter what composite bushing bar I have owned from Rogue, the bushings have always flattened out on me. So if you're dropping your bar, if you're doing CrossFit, if you're doing weightlifting, the composite bushings will eventually just flatten out and then the sleeves will start to turn a little bit unevenly. They're still smooth, they're still fast, but they will kind of have this little wobble to them. So I don't really like that about the composite bushings. Otherwise, the Rogue Bar 2.0 is pretty much identical to the Ohio Bar. Uh, it's still an F8R on the work hardening scale or the F scale. Um, one major difference, I guess, if this really mattered to you, is that on the sleeve shoulders of the Rogue Bar 2.0, there are little channels for identification grooves so if you wanted to stock your affiliate up and you wanted to have something that kind of like personalize your barbells that might be a good option for you but otherwise if you're using it at home gym you know probably doesn't matter to you all that much the rogue bar 2.0 only comes in a black zinc option which is a slightly shiny and slippery zinc uh, if you're using this shirtless that will slip off your body quite a bit Otherwise, the knurling is a little bit more subdued. I actually think it's a little bit more subdued than the Cerakote. Uh, and the reason for that is when you have black zinc, you have two coats of zinc. So you have an original or you have an undercoat of bright zinc and then you have an overcoat of black zinc. That's why it dulls away the knurling feel. Uh, of, over time, that zinc coating will wear away. No matter what, no matter how well you take care of your barbell, the zinc coating will wear away. If you do not wipe down your bar after use, it will wear away a lot faster because the salt from your sweat will corrode your zinc coating a lot faster. So make sure that you're diligent about wiping your bar down. But otherwise, the Rogue Bar 2.0, it's a great bar. But I, I think you should just pay the extra 20 bucks and just get an Ohio bar and black zinc. Uh, get the brass bushings and never have to worry about the composite ones bending or breaking over time. The next bar up is the newest coating that Rogue is offering for their Ohio bar, electrostatic coating or otherwise known as E-coat. So this one is fairly new and I pretty much just picked it up maybe about a month ago. I've had it sitting around in the garage, not really using it. I did use it one time, but I haven't had this one long enough to really know what the durability is going to be like on the E-Coat. What I can tell you is that it is a more slippery coating than even black zinc is. This stuff is really slippery. Uh, I did notice that on their new E-Coat kettlebells as well. Um, you will have to chalk this one up quite a bit. I don't know if it's going to dull out over time. Um, it doesn't seem to wear like zinc does. I did leave my sweat on it. I used it one time and left my sweat on it and just it just wiped away. So that's a good thing because I feel like the coating is going to last for a long time. But also keep in mind it is a slippery coating. I do like the knurling feel 
on the E-coat. It's a little bit more pronounced than zinc and Cerakote. It's not quite stainless steel, but it's close. Um, I want to say it's actually probably a little bit closer to black oxide, which is, in my opinion, the worst coating that Rogue offers. It was actually the coating that I got on my very, very first Ohio bar. And I didn't know any better at the time, but it oxidizes quick, it disappears fast. I would definitely recommend not getting black zinc unless you wanted like a bare steel bar. Next best option there would probably be to get the E-coat. With the E-coat bar, it does have a brass bushing, so you don't have to worry about durability on that particular aspect of the bar. It does only come with zinc sleeves, so uh, over time it will eventually scratch and wear away, but I feel like zinc is a pretty good coating for sleeves. Uh, it does look ugly pretty fast if you're sliding weights on. Uh, that will be accelerated if you're using like iron plates as well. So if you were to ask me to rate the coatings that I would personally get from Rogue Fitness on my Ohio bar, it'd probably be uh, a, t a tie between stainless steel and Cerakote, just because with Cerakote I could get a color and they both have composite bushings. Uh, stainless steel is a little bit better as far as knurling feel goes, but I'd give that up to have like a pink Ohio bar. Uh, the next option that I would get is probably the E-coat. I think E-coat is good because it does provide excellent knurling feel. The shaft is a little bit slippery, but it's pretty much just on par with zinc as far as that goes. And I think that this bar will look the best over time, like durability wise. And it's actually easy to maintain as far as just like kind of wiping it down and cleaning it off. Uh, your sweat comes off of it pretty easily. Uh, dead skin comes off of it pretty easily. So I do like the E-coat right now, even though it is a little bit on the slippery side. The next one that I would get is the black zinc. Like I said, it is slippery, just like the E-coat. Um, the knurling feel isn't quite as good as E-coat, but it eventually will wear away and get better, kind of like a bare steel bar. Uh, the black zinc coating will look the ugliest, the fastest. Black zinc wears away really, really fast. Um, so do keep that in mind. So I don't really care too much for the black zinc option. The last bar that I would get is the black ox oxide option and the reason for that is because it doesn't really offer you anything in terms of protection it rusts extremely fast it fades very very fast as well it gets scratched up it does provide one of the best knurling feels it's not that slippery but I mean if you're spending the money you might as well just save the 10 bucks because it does cost like $295 for the black oxide option in comparison to the 285 for the e-coat or black zinc uh, $265 for the rogue bar and then the Cerakote bar does cost a little bit more at $335 so one bar that I do have here and this is honestly one of the best bars for the money the rogue echo bar is so good it's $205 it's just as good as any of the other 28.5 millimeter bars. It actually uses the same exact 190K PSI tensile strength shaft. It has the same knurling. Uh, it has the same sleeves. It's got a brass bushing in it. It is the only downsides it has, I guess, if you were to say that they're downsized, is that it does not have the powerlifting mark, which I don't think is going to bother all that many people. And then it does only come in bright zinc. So, I mean, a lot of people really like the, the look of black barbells, but otherwise, I don't really care, to be honest with you. The knurling feel on the Echo Bar is closer to the e -coats. It's probably more in line, to be honest, with the black oxide version. So since this is a bright zinc bar, it's only coated over one time uh, in comparison to like the black zinc, which have two coats of... Uh, zinc. Uh, one thing about the coating on the Echo Bar is that it does discolor pretty quickly. Uh, I didn't really take care of this bar all that well and there are some discoloration points from just like my sweat being on the bar. One thing that I do like about the coating of the Echo Bar is that it is a little bit more matte in finish than the black zinc option. Another downside with the Echo Bar is that it does only come with a one-year warranty, but I, I gotta be honest with you, 
that should not matter at all because I've never had a problem aside from the composite bushings smashing I've never had a problem with a rogue fitness barbell these are F8R on the F scale they're like the most durable barbells that, that rogue possibly sells uh, I, I really think that the echo bar is more than enough barbell for just about anybody looking for a bar and the fact that it's only $205 makes it one of the easiest barbells to recommend so I know what you're thinking. If you were to ask me personally which barbell I would buy and have, say I could only have one barbell from Rogue Fitness, um, well, for me personally, it wouldn't be any of these. The one that I would personally pick is the Rogue 28 millimeter training barbell. So the reason for that is because it still has that excellent Rogue Fitness neural, probably the best out of all of these it's a little bit more subdued than the Ohio bar or 28.5 millimeter diameter shaft knurling uh, which I personally like the shaft is 28 millimeters which is much better for Olympic weightlifting movements plus you can definitely do CrossFit with it uh, it's better for barbell cycling it might be a little whippy for some of my squats but honestly I'm not squatting heavy enough for that whip to make any kind of difference for me uh, my max back squat is 445 pounds and I've hit 430 pounds on a 28 millimeter diameter shaft barbell. This does come with brass bushings. The sleeves rotate excellent on the 28 millimeter diameter shaft barbell. I don't know why, but it just seems to rotate better than any of the other barbells. But anyways, my favorite bar and my number one pick for a barbell for me personally would be the 28 millimeter training barbell. I think it's the best bang for the buck. It's like $335 or $345. And it's just what I would pick personally. Now, if you were a power lifter, um, obviously you would want to forego any of these options here because you're just really just doing squat bench deadlift. I think that the Ohio bar or any of the 28 millimeter barbells or 28.5 millimeter barbells would be fine for power lifting. But if, I mean, if you're just doing the big three, you just squat bench deadlift then I would recommend the Ohio power bar so back here I have the Ohio power bar with a clear Cerakote it's got don't weaken on it it's actually really really cool this is one of the grab bag bars uh, so I only got this for a hundred dollars which blew my mind but I have owned the bare steel Ohio power bar which I think was one of my favorite bars of all time I just got tired of keeping up with it and then I currently also own the Westside Power Bar 2.0, which is at my gym that has composite bushings on it. That is one of my favorite barbells of all time as well, and I will never sell that one. Uh, I've put up some great weight on it, bench, squats. I don't really deadlift with it because I just don't really deadlift with stiff bars. But otherwise, if you're a power lifter, you should be looking into a power bar. Though I do recommend that, I mean, if you are just in the need of a barbell, I think the 28.5 millimeter diameter shaft barbells are just a little bit more available. So when it comes down to it, it really just comes down to preference and how much money you have to spend. If you've only got about 200 bucks, the Echo Bar is excellent. Look no further and rest assured that the Echo Bar is enough barbell for pretty much anybody. Next up would probably be, for me personally, if you didn't have any limit to the money that you have to spend, then I would recommend getting the Cerakote Ohio Bar if you wanted a color. And if you didn't care about color, get the stainless steel option. Uh, otherwise, those would be my second pick. My third pick would be the Ecoat Ohio Bar. And then from there, it would be like the black zinc and then the black oxide version. If the 28 millimeter diameter shaft training bar ever came back in stock, which I think there is just a huge holdup because they're using European steel now, I would personally recommend that if you have more of an Olympic weightlifting bias, if you're more into barbell cycling, I think that that's the better option for you. Uh, not that the Ohio bars are not good for those things, I just think that that for me personally is my pick. And if you're a power lifter, Ohio Power Bar. It's as easy as that. So if you guys have any questions about any of the barbells that we looked at today or pretty much any bar that's on roguefitness.com, I've almost actually owned every single one of them 
feel free to leave them in the comment section, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.